Hello, my name is Martyr, and welcome to the episode of Let's Play Wasteland 2, and thank you for watching. Last time, guys, we arrived here at the Rail Nomad Camp, and uh, we're basically just kind of fishing around looking for, well, you know, jobs and experience and things to take care of and do general rangery stuff. And then we walked into this particular cart here, and then this chick decided to kill herself. But it wasn't that she killed herself, as it turns out. Um, it turns out that oh, something else is going on. The only way to, for us to find out what's going on is for us to act like a little bit of a dick. Because this quest was to deliver a letter. We didn't get to find out what that letter was about. We didn't get to make the proper conversation check. So we have no idea what's going on in this letter. She won't tell us either. So the only way to figure out what's going on is to actually talk to her and then not give her the letter, as it turns out. Uh, and then this will happen. So we talked to her. I was expecting my brother. What are you doing? Because something happened. Is Rob okay? Your brother, Rob, gave us a letter. He gave you a letter for me. Oh, please give it to me. Give it to me. Uh, what's so important about this letter? What's so important that it's not your business? Give it to me. Now, we're not going to give her the letter. We're going to say goodbye. Take care, man. You're leaving, but you haven't given me my letter I need. And then suddenly, there was a knock at the door. And there was an asshole. This is the biggest, ugliest, dumbest looking redneck you've ever seen. And to add to his magnificence, it looks like he's drawn penises all over his red scorpion militia uniform. He also has what appears to be a robotic right arm and an enormous gun. Time to go, bitch. Don't bother packing no clothes. Slaves don't wear nothing but chains. Rangers, what are you piss? What are you wussies doing here? Sit around my property? Actually, technically, I think we already freed your property back at the prison, dude. Uh, what happened to your right arm? Got infected after some bitch bit me. Had to cut it off. Then this doc from Mad Monk said she could give me a whole new one. Didn't let her touch my penis, though. The love hammer's already a machine, baby. Property? What do you mean? This bitch couldn't pay your debts, so now she's mine. You got a problem with that? Uh, yes, we do have a problem with that. What if we paid what she... No, we're, what if, yes, we do have a problem with that. Then I got a problem with you, and the fight begins. This guy has, from my has like a, a shitload of damage. You be very careful here. Okay. Now we're gonna, he's gonna get an attack right after she gets an attack, so... Uh, just basically just whack him as many times as you can, lady. Good, she got him to bleed and she gave him a concussion. And he shot at the floor a hundred times. I'm good with that. Ow. Ow. Could you, um... By chance, uh, stop that shit? That would be wonderful. Alright, we're gonna move here. And then we're gonna shoot the son of a bitch. There we go. We don't have enough, um, action points to do anything of the sorts. Who is this? This is her? Okay, move away. Shoot him in the face. Okay, good. Sea Otter, you just get in there. You wail on his ass. Just kill him. Oh, yeah. Now he's bleeding and he's dying. Shoot him in the freaking face, you. Yeah, that's what you get. And then my sniper can probably finish him here in one shot. And dead. 215, 25, and that guy's a shitload of experience there. And he jacked me up though. We gotta heal me up. I'm gonna use one of these on me. Actually, no, wait, 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 I just realized. I can just level up. Call in my level. Report. There you go. I'm still bleeding, but you know, that's fine. Let's loot the cinnamon, bitch. You got some nice stuff on him, it looks like. Uh, armor. Uh, actually, I think it's better than all the armors we have right now. I'm going to give this one to Sea Otter. Because he's like the main melee guy. We got another Bren rifle, which we got those from the Red uh, Red Scorpion Militia there. And now she is safe, believe it or not. See, she's not going to kill herself. She's not going to die. It turns out that she probably owed some debts and um, was in a little bit of trouble. So she's good now, though. Uh, let's go ahead and let's put this on. It's going to slow us down a little bit more. Kind of like our backpack. 
But that's okay. Give her an armor. Nice. Where did that Bren go? Who is that Bren rifle? Oh, I guess I took it. Okay, I'm going to give it to him, actually, because I realize he has, like, a shit ton of pack weight on him. He should probably be carrying all these extra guns. So she's good now. That's how we save her. We killed um, this piece of crap right here, whatever his name was. Not going to miss him any. Let's start looking around. Good. Found a med kit. And some bullets. And that's it. He's dead. Pitbull is dead. We saved her. She's okay. She got shot too. Damn. Can we heal her? I'm, I know this is probably an unnecessary step, but I just feel bad for her. I don't want her to die. Damn. I am such a nice guy. Look at that. I even healed her up. There you go, Katie. You have a nice day. We rangers are awesome. We know. Have a nice day. And that's how we save Katie, guys. I feel good about myself. I'm going to call that a victory. We're going to save that. And uh, we're going to have everyone reload also. Yeah, there we go. All right. So that's done. Pitbull is dead now. Oh, Jesus. What is that? Dude, what is with these guys? These guys are all crazy, man. All right. As you turn to walk into the entire family turns from their bowls of glowing green mush to look at you, then they resume eating like they're haggard, starving people they are. All right. Um... So that grieves people. Savory, delicious people. All right. I guess that cart was just full of um, civilians. Let's go into the next one here. See what's in here. Elder Samuel Cole said the Rangers saved Ralphie from drowning. That's right, because we're awesome. We're going to save. Wow, we think we should, we should be okay. The Rangers are heroes, and I'm going to make sure everybody hears about it. Hey, Ralphie. Thanks, Jamie Rangers. Libby. Uh-oh. Who's Libby? Oh, I know what you did for Ralphie. Thank you. I would give you gold if I had it, but all I have is this old apple. Well, I could give you my boy. What? You, you want to give us your son? I know it sounds heartless, but I can't feed him in this godforsaken place. With the train not running, nobody around here is making a living. Taking your Alfie would be kindness to me and him. And he's awful handy with Slingshot. He could help you. What do you say? He'll make, make, will you make a ranger out of him? Well, the rangers wouldn't want to take someone like me. Quit embarrassing me. Um, Really? We're, I guess we could take him. I mean, yeah, why not, right? We'll take him. Damn, thank you, Rangers. You saved this boat. Now, come along, Ralphie. These nice Rangers are your new parents. You have to go with them now. What? Really? All right. I always wanted to be a Ranger. Now I can make enough money to go live someplace with... with uh, oops. Oh, my God. We have a freaking seventh person on our team now. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to have way higher... Rogue? Okay, apparently not. We have... We're okay, actually. I'm kind of shocked by that. He's not really good in much at all. He's great at toaster repair, though. Holy shit. All right, cool. Uh, we have a lot of skill, I guess, so we're going to just save. I, I guess we got a new partner there. He will help us through these issues that we are going through right now. We're going to call in another... Okay. A lot of people leveled up. Let's go. Cool. Um, what's this? This is the... Words on the car have almost holy fate with the only letters of FLT. Still visible. Sign reading archive has been hung next to the worn letters along with an image of bomb with book of all... 
with a, a the image of a bomb with book pages for fins. Heard you say the park. What's going on there? What's in this place? What is in this place? Is it full of bombs? Sea otter. Check for bombs. Bombs, 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 bombs. No bombs. Just books. Lots and lots of books. I'm okay with that. What the hell? Igor here is dead. We didn't do it. You spot the actually useful down for the midnight bomber hidden on the bottom shelf. Why would this be useful? I don't know. Looking for an interesting one. Catch Shy, Anton Zero's The Old Swings and Naked Moose. BB the Tale of Crazy Engineer. Xenia, a park about the real life for dummies or how I would learn to stop being scared to alienate the computer. What the hell? Life of a fool. Okay, well I guess we're done here. That That's all there really is to this place. Alrighty then. Strange. So far we've yet to find the Indian chief here. I don't know if he's Indian actually, I should say. I'm guessing they are though. We already heard this. Uh, the reason we're hearing it again is because um, uh, because we restarted basically. Hang back till I get you some reinforcements. Where exactly are you at? Negative Topeka base. Let's go inside here. Hopefully they'll shut up. a couple of coyotes. False alarm. Uh. Okay. And lay off those. For a while, all right. What the hell? We found a whore, guys. We found a whore. I think it's time for, um, you know, the Rangers to get some action. A magazine called Fredericks of Hollywood Catalog lies on the beast, the beside, the beside a table. Women in strange and revealing clothes pose on the cover. They all have enormous hairstyles. <laughs> what is with this whore? I like her portrait. She's hot. A pillowy voluptuous woman dressed in the tattered remnants of several sets of lingerie. She looks at you with heavy painted eyes. Am I yours for only 15 craps? Crap. Do we have a deal? Yeah, no. Well, if you are interested, I have no interest in you. Good day. All right, let's nail her. Lost 15 scrap. What the hell? Oh, God. No, Martyr. You're going to get syphilis. What happens now? What? Sure. Let's nail her again. <laughs> it's just pointless. Why are we having sex with her? No reason at all. Really. We're just over and over again. Enjoy your syphilis. I'm not going to bang the whore. I'm sorry. It's not worth banging. I'm especially cheap over my, my, my scrap. So she can go do something with herself. Why is there a whore in the game? What's, well, there was whores in Fallout, so I can't really say all that much. Can we kill her? Let's just leave. Let's just go. Really, I'm not going to waste my scrap on her. She doesn't seem to be part of any quests. We could probably make the man out of that kid, though. It's like, hey, son. Why don't you go over there and have sex with that chick? And he's like, she's related to me. I'm like, oh, never mind then. Don't do that, nasty weirdo. All right, I don't know where the hell the chief is. Where the hell is the leader of these people? We went in there. Um, I guess he's just around the bend, he said. So left. Lefterner. There's a, 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 a horse. Oh, let's go look at the horse. Usually statues are always equal good stuff for us. Why? Why can't I click the statue, guys? Can we repair it? Is there something we need to specifically do? Um, huh. 
I don't understand. What is the point of this thing? Okay. Not really sure. Moving along. Um, you would think we would have found the chief by now, to be honest with you. Uh, I guess we're going to go this way. There's a big arrow pointing this way. You always want to follow the big arrows. Let's go this way. What did Vulture's Christ say? The iron horse that brings white men leaves death. Oh, it's the train. Okay, cool. Um... Nothing would help others there more than a better trade. Okay, that's nice. There is a rail station over here. Might as well go over there. Meeting hall. Let's go that way. John Henry said to his captain, A man ain't nothing but a man. And before I let that steel drill beat me down, I'll die with the hammer in my hand. Lord, Lord, I'll die with that. Who the hell is that? What the hell is going on in this crazy ass town? Mm, sing it! Sing it! That's right! Mm, mm. Oh yeah. That's right. Sing it, man. Sing it! Um, hello? Why is there lots of places to get cover? That scares me a little. Oh, it's it, it's what's his nuts? Ah, uh, Rangers, good to see you. It says choppers, keep an eye on the golden spike till anyone near it. Okay, we're gonna save. We want to be very careful how we handle the situation because we don't want to piss this guy off. Uh, we want to see if we can convince him to resolve things peacefully. So okay, they are they are Native American. And he's wearing a giant feather hat there. A uh, flinty-eyed older man in a Native American war bonnet and fringe jacket. The left sleeve of the jacket is empty and pinned up. The left of the jacket arm has not diminished in its presence, however. Indeed, it seems to have given him an extra helping of gravitas, which has, which he has, he wasn't exactly lacking to begin with. Okay. Welcome, my people. Have and he has voice acting. Saved the Parker boy from drowning. It is an honor to speak to such brave heroes. How can I help you? We met a Topekan on the path here. He'd been badly hurt by a bomb, but we got him stabilized and on his feet. Grr, it was the Atkins, wasn't it? Their bombs have been killing and maiming by the dozens. That's that we once considered them buzzard is unthinkable. They claim we've stolen their precious golden spike, but it was never theirs to begin with. Our conflicts and them will not until each each and every Atkinson hangs. Jesus. Can we not talk about this? All right, rail thieves. Why do they call themselves rail thieves when there are no trains to rob? They don't rob trains. They steal rails and sell them for the scrap. Now they have, now they have above us like buzzards waiting for us and the Atkins to kill each other so they can swoop in, scrape our train cars and our locomotive. Filthy scavengers. Thank you, Mash. Help with what? If you wish to help us with the outside threats, then you are welcome. But we can handle our own internal conflicts on our own. Thank you. Stay out of it. What do you think of Ralphie? I normally don't approve of Topekans traveling with us, but in this case, there isn't a loss in the tribe. What do you think of Atkins? They do not fight with iron. They sabotage and plant bombs like cowards. Weaklings, and it's only because I continue to hope for peace that I have not killed them all. Instead, I can make example of their worst offenders in hopes that they will learn. the rest will learn. Tell me about the Golden Spike. The sacred Golden Spike was given to our forefathers before the apocalypse by the Hammer God. John Henry, it is a symbol of our right to rule all the rail tribes. It is our most sacred relic. The Atkins believe it is theirs alone, but they are liars and shall never have it. Can you tell us the side of your story? I'm very tired of telling, but if I must. Wow. Okay, here we go. Once the Atkins and the Topekans worked together in harmony, and then the and then Casey James became angry with us because he believed the Golden Spike was Atkin property, and then he, and that we'd stolen it from them and grown wealthy because of it. He told his people to sabotage the rails, causing our first tra train to wreck. We have been at war ever since. Okay. Tell me about the choppers. 
They are my personal guard men, so they sever, sever their left arms when I lost mine. The great... Oh, Jesus Christ. And they're great in the great train wreck, okay? What targets are these? Our greatest threat at the moment is these rail thieves who have set up a hideout somewhere near the Atkins camp and who are ambushing anyone who dares travel the road between us. How are we supposed to conduct war with our bitterest enemies when there's bandits or attack our war parties? It is a great inconvenience. Would you let, would allow rangers to negotiate a peace? I told you before, our private affairs are not your concern. Besides, I doubt it's possible. Ugh. Okay, but that doesn't mean that it's not impossible. Who is John Henry, the first of our tribe and the greatest? A fighter of robots and a driver of steel who laid all the rails you've ever seen and died with his hammer in his hands. Lord, Lord. <laughs> We're the Tobicans. We are peaceful people, honest traders who once crossed the waste like gods. Upon our iron horse, we will again as soon as we've taken back from the Atkins was rightfully ours. Who is Casey James, leader of the Atkins? Once we were friends, we worked side by side. He is to maintain the rails. I to maintain the trains. Now he is my enemy and uses the weapons of a coward. A quick death is a good is too good for him. Jeez Louise. Did you steal it? And how could I steal it when it was ours to begin with? And besides, the golden spike is all our property. The Tweakins and Atkins alike. We don't keep it in our town hall because we want to keep it out of Atkinson Reach. We hand it, keep it here because all the hall is secure, unlike their improvised little camp. Are you sure it was the Atkinsons who caused the train wreck? Of course I am. I was driving the train personally. It was, and it was not I who wrecked it, and the Atkins didn't stop there. Now they've stolen essential parts from our second train, and we can no longer travel or trade. They have stolen our livelihood. Until the brake shoe is returned, we are at war. So if I return the brake shoe, they'll hopefully calm their shit. Tell us more about the war. Once we worked hand-in-hand -hand with the Atkins, we tended the trains, they tended the rails, it grieves me that we fight, and we've tried to make peace since then, but they continue their aggressions, stealing essential parts, planting bombs, and so the feud continues. Okay, they cut off their arms. Yes, to honor me, the arm I lost in the wreck. Do you not think it makes them less dangerous? They can still kick your asses. Nice, tell me, about the wreck. tell me more about the wreck. The Atkins' greatest sabotage, they smashed the ties of our trains to rail... Ugh. They smashed the ties of our train... In our, in our train derailed. I was driving that train, lost my arm in the wreck, now I can never drive again. I don't forgive the Atkins for that. Inconvenience, which like... What would you like us to rid you of this inconvenience? Now that the true spirit of the Desert Ranger is protecting... What the hell did I just click on? The true spirit of the Desert protecting the waste from Lala Sco, not telling a lot of bystanders how to solve the problems. Thank you, Rangers. I welcome your hate in this matter. How secure is it? Display case is locked. My rangers cho uh, choppers are on guard at all times. We'll attack anyone to, to take it. Would you like us to get the brake shoe back? No, we will get it back on our own. We do not require outside assistance. Do the Atkins still attend the trains? They do not. Another reason I still try to make peace with them. We haven't... Another reason I tr still try to make peace with them is to have the skill to fix the rails, and it will take time to learn. We keep going to the obstacles, stop the atrocities, and return to their bargaining table so that we can work together again, but it doesn't seem to matter how many of them I hang, they still won't see sense. Yes, because, you know, that's not how you negotiate, not by hanging people. Why can't you drive the train? It's impossible. Even the strongest man needs two hours to drive a train. Okay. Keep out of our business, Rangers. Kiss my ass, dude. I have a feeling that's the golden spike back there. Okay. So I don't want to approach that because they will shoot me. Uh, it looks like they'll shoot me from any side I approach. So I'm going to leave. We've learned quite a bit of that situation that's going on here. Obviously something's going on here. Something is amiss. These people should be allies. They should be working together, not trying to kill each other. And something has sabotaged all that. If I had to guess, it probably has something to do with the... Um, the you know the 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 the, the robots the, the the signal something fishy is going on here, and we need to find a way to fix this. Um, I'm gonna see what's all going on this way. I want to see what's what's in this direction here. It does seem like it goes somewhere. I just don't know. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, as always, guys, tweet me murder today. We're gonna have the episode here. Mostly because, you know, we're just, we're going to be exploring these large areas uh, and trying to figure out where we need to go, what we need to do, and who to save. Chief Kekaba. My choppers just found another Atchison bomb buried near the water tank. <laughs> it has been defused, but there may be others. Be on your guard, Topekans. The Atchisons hate us for our quality of life and will stop at nothing to bring us down to their level. Okay. 
Obviously, this is a way to get to the Golden Spike without having to probably face all those guards. If they have their back turned to us, they, we could probably just sneak in there and grab it. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and uh, guys, we will see you next time.